guys, it's Bridget Therese. Welcome to episode 14. Today, I am giving you my five tips to picking out the perfect show bikini. So this is the fun part. This is the part where you get to go shopping and create the bikini or the swimsuit of your dreams for this show. And I'm so excited you're watching today. I am at Maggie's here in Houston, who is a local designer where I have gotten some of my suits for from and I'm here today getting some uh, stuff designed for my show coming up here in Mexico City. And um, we've sent clients out here a few times, so I'm excited to do a show here today. As you can see, I have some beautiful blinged out bikinis behind me. And I'm going to tell you five of my tips to get uh, the perfect bikini mm -hmm. customized for you. So if you find this valuable, go ahead and share it. Tag somebody who's competing or somebody who may be interested in getting some customized um, swimsuits. And um, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is start looking around, and I know a lot of you girls do this, but start shopping around, getting ideas, start looking at colors, uh, different designs things that you like and um, come come with some ideas. So, cause when you get here, there's so many colors, there's so many different fabrics and it's easy to get overwhelmed. So I already have an idea in your head of what you wanna do and um, come prepared with an idea if you can. If not, this is a perfect place to get inspired with some creativity. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick out a fabric and that is where you pick your color and you're gonna pick um, whatever that material is going to be, even though it's like this big, but it's still going to be the fun part. So I grabbed some stuff out of her closet before I came. So here's like a really fun purple one. So you start with the fabric, you pick it. Um, I have some more rolls over here. And you'll have to forgive me. I'm shooting by myself today, but here's a blue. This is really fun. Um, if you're a blue person, um, there are some more colors over here too. It's literally like uh, going to um, Hobby Lobby coming to this place. So this is a lot of fun. So um, super fun. Picking out the colors. You can do anything like you can see back here. This one is a rainbow. Um, there's red. There's sequins. I'm super excited for you guys to see my suit that is going to be uh, the one I wear in Mexico City. I'm, I'm keeping it a secret because I love it so much and it's going to be amazing. So I'm not going to show you what I'm doing, but it's going to be awesome. So first you pick your um, colors. And then the next thing you're going to do is, um, I'll show you what it looks like after you pick the colors. So you're going to pick your color. This is a cool royal blue green. You can see it's kind of got the shimmer going on. And then you get to do the next fun part, and that is um, add your connectors. But before we do that, let me take um, just a quick step back and say what, when you're, uh, after you pick your color and your shape, um, the next important thing to do is pick um, the cut for your bottom. So everybody is shaped differently. So you need to be very specific and try on different cuts. So she would have, she will have some simple, um, some other samples here for you that you can try on. Um, you're gonna put those on, try them on, and usually need somebody to look at it and be like, yes, no. So there's a lot of different shapes and cuts. So when you're trying them on, you need them to be what's gonna fit right on your body. So. Um, that is super important. So make sure you're getting the right cut and the right look for your body shape. So there's there's like the sweetheart cut. There's um, the shape where it's flat. I can't really show them to you, and I'm not trying them on, so don't even start. Um, but there's a lot of different uh, shapes, so you want to make sure you get the right cut. And the only way to do that is to try on samples and make sure that um, it's the right one. So first, you do your cut. And then the fun part is fixing out connectors. So I grabbed um, a few of them here. So I'm gonna step out of camera for just a second and pick some of those up. And this is where it gets fun and this is where it gets overwhelming. So look at how pretty this is. So these are gonna go on the bottoms of your bikinis. They're gonna go sit, lay right on your hip. Um, so this is one sample and this is kind of where it can get overwhelming because the connectors are endless. There's silver, there's gold, there's um, AB. Um, and I'll just give you a little secret. The one suit that I'm getting is gonna be all AB stones. So this this is, and I wanna get something fun like this. This is so pretty, right? See, there's one. And then let me show you another one. I'm sorry you have to pop out. This is for the top. So this would be where it goes up here. So these are smaller. So when you're picking out the connectors for the top, you're gonna to wanna to go with something smaller so that it um, is not too chunky and distracting in your neck. So these would be the top. They'd sit like that. And then, um, let me see. Oh, here's some AB ones. So this is really pretty. 
It's got the different stones um, that are shiny. These ones, this I, I like AB because it catches whatever um, whatever color you're wearing. So if I if I had a green suit on, you would see all the green shine out of this one. So this one is really cool. Um, so those are different connectors. And then let me see. Um, see if she set out some sort of, but there's all different sizes. So you've got your short ones. So some, this also has planes into your body shape and how big your hips are, how wide. So you can kind of create illusions with the length of your hip connectors. Um, when you step back and they sit right here on your hips, you've got those that lay on either side. So the length of them uh, can play into the, how you look and how thin and how your hips lay. So if you're not a very hip, um, don't have a lot of hips, so small waist and hips, you can play into um, illusions by um, the length of your connectors. So that's really cool. Um, let's see, I don't have any centerpieces, but you can see that there's a variety of um, different centerpieces that you can use. Um, I will probably get a nice big chunky one because those are fun. And then, ladies, because we all know that once you start losing fat, the first place it goes is right out of your boobs. So thank God that there's padding. So this is a must, must, must when you're getting your suits made. Um, get, put those pads in to give you that lift and give you a little bit of body fat. Because I swear, and I'm sure you ladies can attest to this, that the first place the fat leaves is where you want it to stay the most. So I wish you could do some tra fat transfers and just kind of shuffle it around, but unfortunately that's not how it works. So there's pads for that. So after the pads and the connectors, um, then you get into your stones. And I grab some of these, and this is where it gets fun. There's so many different kinds of stones and colors that you can do. Um, it's literally, you guys, this is, you can be so creative with this, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So you can come here and spend hours and create um, all these different things. So um, let me just show you a couple. So this one is really pretty. This is gold. Um, this is also a sequence fabric. So you got your uh, sequence fabric and then it, on top of the fabric it is also laid with stones. And then I like this one because it also is outlined along the sides with the stones. Um, so you got your sequence fabric and then it is trimmed with a nice gold ribbon here. Um, you got your thin connectors for your neckline. And then um, a lovely little dangly thing right here that's a lot of fun to play with there. Um, so this one is trimmed out really nice. Um, again, on the bottoms you get um, be, uh, you get the sequ or the uh, stones on the bottom as well, so that it, it's consistent and matches really well. And then of course you got your connectors here. This is a fairly simple cut, um, and this one is um, uh, like I said. I guess it's rather a simple design as far as the connectors go, because some of them can get a, pretty elaborate. Um, this one here is really pretty. And this one kind of is a rainbow design, but it's a really nice soft pink and purple one. And this one has the pretty connectors. You can see here that that is a different design and um, I like it. It's a uh, much more feminine. It kind of adds a lot of play to it. And then ladies, I could probably do a whole episode on just jewelry and accessories because it's the one time you get to bling out like crazy and um, it's okay. So here's, you got different connectors too. These ones are thick, thicker, but the smaller stones. Um, so this one is fun. I like this one. This one's thicker um, on the bottom, but it's still very pretty. Mm -hmm. And let me see what else we got. So this one is a solid color. And then this is just the, just a solid blue, um, kind of like that first material I showed you, which is the best of this one here. So this is the purple. So you could take a purple piece of material like this, and then it comes into something a little bit more imaginative like this. So I like this one because it's a little bit different of a stone design. You can get as creative as you want with stones. So you have your big stones here. You also have some colored stones mixed in. And then it's also kind of spread out and mixed in. You can kind of see the design there where it's thicker out through here and then the smaller ones through here. And again, you're keeping that neckline um, stones here smaller. And then um, you got a nice pretty connector here in the middle. And then down on the bottom, again, you got the variety of stones where it's thicker on top and then it kind of um, spreads out. In the backs, um, it's hard to tell what the cut is, but you always, 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 always get a scrunch butt. So 
end, end of story. I could just, that's, that's it, that's it. Scrunch butt is absolutely necessary and you cannot get away with it. But this is where you kind of got to play in with it in the different designs. This is pinned right now so it doesn't fall off the mannequin. But you can kind of see where you get your lines here where it kind of curves down and creates that sweetheart shape. So very, very important and essential to getting that fine look because ladies, you know you do have to do a back pose. And when I first did my show, I was very uncomfortable with um, posing on the back because I just, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't where I needed to be, so I wasn't comfortable with it. But if you are confident and you have that um, perfect shape, it's amazing how just different cuts can make your bottom look rounder, give you the booty that perfect little shape. So super important. So make sure your, your bottoms are scrunched by. And even when you're doing other outfits, um, if you're doing booty shorts or sportswear, uh, make sure that you get a scrunch butt and that it's not a high way up. It's not cutting your cheeks off and pinching you in places that you don't want to be pinched. So super important. Let me see what else we have. Oh, we got one more. This one is super fun. This is a little edgy, a little bit different. Um, this one, again, you got your small connectors on top. And then a really fun design here. This one doesn't even need a lot of stones because it's so cool. This one's really fun. And then um, here's another example of connectors in the middle. Um, it's different. So it's almost like the top of the other one. So if you wanted to combine, this one has the top straps here. And then also you could get the connector here where um, they could all match. And you could even do them on the bottoms. It's totally okay to match the bottoms. But what I love about this one is the fun connectors on the bottom. These are really cool. So they're different than the rest of them that I've showed you. Um, these ones are fun and they have a little bit of a motion, of motion to them too. So when you're doing your turns and you're kind of walking around on stage, you're going to get a little movement with that. So that's really cool. Um, again, you've got the stones around the trim here. It's um, the material and then trimmed out with black and then um, trimmed out underneath. So that's a lot of fun. So if you're just tuning in, we are picking up bikinis for our fit fitness competition. So I'm taking you through the five steps um, of how to pick out the perfect bikini. So if you think anybody would find this valuable, if you know somebody's competing for the first time, um, share this video with them because I know that when you're first competing and you're first starting out, it can be very overwhelming to pick out a bikini. And um, it's also one of the most fun parts because now you've done the work, you've got your posing down, you've got all of the time and effort you put into it. And then really you guys, the day of the show is just the reward. It's the pageant. It's like getting to dress up and show it all off. So it's, um, you want to look fabulous. You want to wear something that you're going to feel awesome in. So make sure that you spend time picking out your suit. So, um, if you're just jumping on the, or the first tip or suggestion was to pick it out four weeks in advance. So the reason for this is, um, your body changes a lot and you don't want to pick something out and get measured for it six 12 months in advance so this have some ideas but don't pick it out yet because your body's going to change and that's kind of the magic of competing is how much your body changes in those last few weeks and even days and so i'm just trusting the process because that's what you do and you it's kind of funny because you feel like your body's supposed to be show ready the day of you know like five months in advance or five weeks in advance and that's not the case so um, a secret that I learned and was kind of relieved by was knowing that your body looks show body on the day of the show and that's it. So you strategically eat, work out, plan your meals and do everything leading up to the show so that you have a show body for one day. So that's, that was kind of a relief for me because I thought you had to look like you're show ready six weeks in advance and no, you're not. You're, it's, it would be super unhealthy to be show ready for a long period of time. So everything is tweaked to be exactly perfect when you get on stage. So getting on stage, you're going to pick out your bikini four weeks in advance. Make sure you check in with your suit designer so you know how busy she is or how uh, booked out she is because the these ladies put time and effort as you can see how intricate some of these can be. So make sure they have enough time to get it on because the last thing you want is somebody uh, not getting it to you in time. I've had people get suits mailed to them. It's at the show at the hotel and that's not fun. So make sure you give them enough time and that they're available and then um, pick out your colors, pick out your stones, pick out your connectors and let me see what else we got. Oh, your fittings. So once, she, once you get uh, the initial design back, then you're gonna go in for your fitting. 
Um, this is kind of the final step where you're going to try it on. And when you try it on, it'll, it'll probably look like this. And here you can kind of see um, more of what I'm talking about, the scrunch button. Unless somebody's wearing it, you can't really tell the shape or how um, good it is. But this is, this is when you would come in and try it on when your bikini is in the, um, the phase of this design. Because you don't want it being stoned out. You don't want them to put all the effort into it if they're still going to have to change it. So, And also you'll see she left material here so that she can expand or small, uh, make it smaller if needed, if needed. So you come in, you try it on um, uh, probably about four weeks, three weeks in advance. And then you do one more fitting uh, right before your show so that it's just perfect. So you don't want it to be too loose. You don't want it to be too fat, tight because then it's going to cut your fat off and kind of, because you do still have some fat and so that's okay. But you don't want it to pinch you in places that uh, on your hips and stuff. So this is what it'll look like when it, uh, you come to try it on for that fitting um, so that there's still, there's still time to make edits if you, if you need to make edits. And I say edits, but I mean like alterations, stuff like that. So the basic again, um, some girls get real creative and do really pretty backs. So you could do connectors on your back and do some clips and stuff like that there. So um, that's how you do it. That's it's. It sounds really simple, but um, there's a lot of you can be as creative as you want to be. And let's talk about cost for a second. You can spend anywhere from a hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. So ladies, it's really up to you and how much you want to spend on this and how what your budget is. Um, because you can go all out crazy, but I don't recommend going all out crazy because you're really only going to want to wear your suit one time and it's hard to resell a suit. So let's talk about resale suits for a second. There's plenty of Facebook groups out there and other websites where you can um, buy suits off of people that have been used. And it's up to you if you want to do that, but the hard part about that is that suit was custom designed and made for their body. So. Um, everybody's a different shape so it's hard to take something that's customized from somebody else to a t and then bring it back because you're not going to have a lot of room to make adjustments and work with it so um i don't recommend um resale unless you were just buying it for uh, photo shoots or things like that you usually want to get your suits for your shows custom made so you can be really lucky and have good success with it that's fine try it um, but a lot of times you'll find that um, having your own custom made is the way to go so you can also just buy um, bikinis online and um, bring them in to get stoned. If you're super duper crafty, you can buy all of it online and do it yourself. So if you, maybe that's like mental clarity for arts and crafts, well, you're preparing for a show, maybe it helps you get your mind off desserts and, you know, all that other stuff that you can't eat because sometimes I need a distraction from that too but I'm not crafty so I will not be stoning my bikini the night before show although I have done that for clients and um that was fun so anyways um lost my train of thought um does anybody have any questions if you're just tuning in we are talking about five tips to have the perfect bikini for your show um, if you know anybody who's competing or anybody who would maybe even want a custom bikini for a photo shoot, uh, go ahead and tag them and share this video. And um, I am about five and a half, six weeks out from Mexico City and I'm getting really excited. I've booked my flights, I have my place to stay, I got my makeup artist, I'm working on booking a photo shoot right now. So a lot of fun stuff going on with that and it's all coming together and I'm really, really excited. So. Um, I'll be posting more about it as I as we get closer 